I'm so sorry about Sean's talk. I really also wanted to hear it. Um, we have audio issues, and <laughs> um, Sean is not going to take that. <laughs> but yeah, um, the talk will be on the YouTube, so we'd also share it because it's a really important talk and in depth. Um, can can someone tell people to come inside? This is the final thank you speech that I've been saving for four months. They are showing what they are not supposed to show. Sorry. Okay, so while I wait for people to come in, so this is going to be really fast. First, thank you so much to everyone. Like, um, I'm beyond grateful, right? Uh, thank you. We've been planning this for four months since January, and we decided that since, um, you know, we made it collocated at Oscar Fest, because since a lot of people were coming, it would be great to have um, people um, attend, you know, Chaos Con, and we've been planning for four months. We've had hurdles, a lot of hurdles, and we're able to pull this off. So I said, I know earlier in my, when I gave the welcome speech, I was going to give a kind of like a little story about how Chaos Africa started and, you know, where we are today and kind of what we we'll do in the future. Um, I don't have a slide because I've I've been running up and down. So um, I'm just going to take the story like that. And, um, and there's a very big announcement I have at the end um, that, you know, it's really exciting for me and I'm sure it's going to be exciting for everybody. Um, so yeah, where did we start from? Uh, community is really important. It's, I think it's that for me, I feel it's the heart of open source, right? The community, the people that you meet, the connections that you make, the the little messages, the little actions that you do, that's, what's, that, that's what keeps me going with open source, how I'm able to speak to someone and the next time I speak to them, something changes and how they also go on to give that ripple effect as well. So how Chaos Africa started was, um, you know, Anita gave a talk earlier and Anita and I were, you know, when we joined the Chaos Project, there was just one African contributing, and he was doing his outreach, um, he was doing his outreach internship, Tola, and then when we joined, we were lost, like, real lost, right? And because we had so much passion to, to understand this thing, even when it's, it didn't seem like it would work, we kept going, we kept asking questions, um, we worked a lot together when, like, you know, trying to talk about the chaos project in, in our talks, you know, in smaller meetups. And then with talking about chaos project in different talks, more Nigerians, more Africans started coming into the project. And this was in 2020 during the pandemic. And in 2022, the outreach court, the first outreach court, we had a lot of outreach applicants that were Nigerians, and major, majorly Nigerians and Africans, a lot. And it was, when, when um, the co-founder, Matt, you know, realized this, it was like, <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> right, we had this outreach channel and then people would troop in and keep asking questions, how do I um, start my outreach, how do I start my outreach contribution? Because outreach has like a lot of phases. And we had so many people and, Going back to why there were so many people, it was the little actions we started with back then in 2020. That's what kept growing. The, the seeds we were throwing, um, you know, the seeds we were spreading, they were growing, right? And then um, the, the board in chaos realized that, you know, there are, a lot of, there are a lot of people that are being represented here. And at that time, we had like a team called the DI Audit Team, which um, I've been working with Justin on it, um, sponsored by the Ford Foundation. And you know, we, we made that, this, the decision was made that Chaos Africa 
should start and it started um as of yeah yesterday i want to get the cake because i'm a big fan of cakes but i couldn't do that um but yeah so you know that decision was made and at that time i was i i didn't have a job so um i was like would you love to lead this community and before open source before tech i d i do not see myself as a leader i'm more of someone that wants to serve but when this came, I was like, okay, <laughs> how am I going to do this? But I realized that I have that passion, I have that zeal, I have that motivation to keep going. So I took it upon myself to say, okay, regardless of my fears, regardless of how I feel that I am scattered, I can't bring people together, I'm still going to take this, I'm still going to bring people together and make this work. Right, and then we, we started, and when we started, the goal for us was to help a lot of the Africans. Like I said, um, when I and Anita joined, we were pretty lost. So, and a lot of people then shared that same um, th thing where they were also lost. So the goal for us then was to help people contribute, help people find their space, help people find something to do in the project. And we started that, a lot of people started coming into the meetings. The first meeting we had, although it was very chaotic, so um, the, the Zoom was shared on Twitter, and then we had a lot of like, people spam it, you know, sharing their screen, showing a lot of like, insensitive things. It was so chaotic. But the, the, the thing is, we had, and, and then, uh, did anybody get the chaotic sticker? That's our, um, our name, our tag name, Chaotix, right? Um, so, so yeah, so like, regardless of how chaotic that first event was, there was still a lot of people that got something. And then we kept moving, and then people, people gave their, people have given their time to Chaos Africa. People have contributed a lot. Even this event, like, you have not come, because I was also um, organizing on the Oscar side, like, a lot of people made this happen. They brought in a lot of zeal. And then when we started, we started with different working groups, you know, trying to help people um, kind of connect together. And we started with about five of them, design, development, um, technical writing, research. Um, so this is going to the projects that we have had in the past one year. So the first project we had was a research project where we were trying to understand how the challenges that Africans face when they contribute to open source is still ongoing. And we also um, did a lot of work with events badging and Enoch, Enoch is a super, he's a superman. Like he handles, like he said, he handles four servers on Chaos. So we did a lot of work with events badging. Um, and now with zeal comes reward, right? Because, um, the chaos group could see that like there was a lot of energy a lot of energy i would say that boldly like there was a lot of energy with every meeting we had with every person that came in they wanted to do something they wanted to give in their all so we started having rewards and when i say rewards i mean good ones really good ones i know somebody i don't know if that person is still here asked the question when justin gave a keynote about um why should I contribute for free? I wanted to speak then, but is open source is not just about free contributions. You get paid to do open source work. And I can say that there are some people that have been paid in Chaos Africa to do work, right? And this is something that I even chase after. And yeah, so we started getting rewards, like I said. We, um, the first thing we got was, um, the first thing we got was to um, handle a section of um, the DI um, badging project from GitHub, so GitHub is, was, um, is partnering with um, Chaos to launch a section of that, and they gave us this, um, this contract to build that part, the bots and the website, the design, they gave us that, that was the first re reward. And then even today, we've had GitHub Copilot, when I talked about, you know, we had this grant from GitHub as well. It's been all GitHub, but more are coming, I know that, um, but, but yeah, um, so we had also this grant from get up to develop stories and it has been so amazing like I, I can't even begin to list out every one of them and it's not just about the money it's the fact that I, I i i find so much joy when i see that people are rewarded for the work that they do the effort that they put in so um these rewards are massive and then the last thing the last really exciting thing is 
um, we recently so GitHub has a GitHub has a section called All In, um, and All In is GitHub's open sourcing, diversity, equity, and inclusion. And they for All In, All In is divided into two. I'm going to bombard you with a lot of information right now before I get to the main thing. But um, you can read that later, though. Um, but yeah, so All In is a a section of GitHub that works on open sourcing, DEI. And they have All In for maintainers and All In for students. So um, I know when I heard about All In for students, when the program started, um, I had spoken to some members, like some people at the GitHub team, and I was like, you know, this is, I, I know you, um, the program just started, but this is something that I know um, a lot of Africans will benefit from. And what is All In for Students? So All In for Students, it's a program, it's that section of All In that helps students, instead in the US, um, so it helps students, um, you know, learn open source, it's like education is the key factor, learn about open source, like university students, learn about open source, help them um, get internships, mentorship, access to a course, like an actual course where you learn about open source um, and you know, learn the techniques, learn about GitHub, learn about like leveling up your career. So then when I saw this whole package, I was like, huh, this, this has to, this is something that would definitely, should definitely be here. And we need the resources to pull it off, right? It's not just about bringing in, we need resources, not just about bringing in people to contribute. I also want people to get rewards for their work. So um, I'm kind of, um, kind of excited to announce that um, Chaos Africa is going to be handling um, All In Africa. So All In is coming to Africa. And it's going to start as a a one-year contract, but I know it will extend beyond this, and there's, the plan is still building up. We are still cooking. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so um, we're going to be handling this, and it's, like I said, it's the education piece, right? It's teaching people how to do open source. It's teaching people how to, how to level up their career with open source, and the plan, like I said, the plan is still cooking and would we'll be sharing more details soon, more details soon. Something that um, we, we want to be able to plan it well. And um, I don't want to share too much because I think I talk too much. So let me not share what I must not share. But yeah, so that's, that's um, the big announcement. And it's really big, not sharing so many details, but I feel this is going to change so many lives as well, right? Um, and I can't wait to see it happen. And this is a thank you to the organizing committee of Chaos Con, um, Chaos Con Africa. This is our first event, and we're able to pull it off this big, right? Um, I'm so excited, like super. I think this is one of the best days in my life, right? Um, seeing that people, people's lives were changed, yes. Um, yeah, so thank you, the organizing committee. They did a lot of work behind the scenes to pull this all together. Thank you to our vendors. The food was lovely. Um, thank you to our photographers. They're taking beautiful pictures that I would see later. Um, <laughs> thank you to our media team for helping us set up everything even before the day. And, you know, even regardless of the issues we had, they were able to contain it. Thank you to everyone that traveled far to come for this. I'm so, I'm super grateful, regardless of where you came from, even though you walked to this place. Thank you um, so much. Um, Oscar Fest is good. There's, a, there's literally open source week, so this is a plug-in for Oscar Fest too. So please come to Oscar Fest as well. Um, we are going to be taking pictures, like general pictures. That will be like the final thing. But the last thing I want to say is, um, I will go back to that statement of the heart of open source is the com is the people you meet along the way. Please network, uh, take that networking serious because there are a lot of ways that your life could change from um, you know just meeting someone, right? Um, so yeah, thank you everyone, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. And if you're going to be at Oscar Fest, there's a whole lot we have planned as well. So. Ciao. So I'll, I think I'll coordinate the pictures. Can, are the speakers that were 
the speakers are still here. Can you just come? Let's speak. Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> I forgot one announcement. It's too plenty. That's why. Um, okay, so for the um, hackathon, the GitHub Copilot session that happened, there's a follow-up um, hackathon that would happen as well. So if you participated, or maybe even though you weren't able to participate, but you're interested, we'll be announcing that on the socials, like the form to fill the hackathon where you get to build um, like an, a website with using Copilot, right? So um, we'd announce that later on our socials um, for people to fill in and participate in that hackathon. So yeah, thank you very much.